Hi, this video is to help you complete project one, which is found in the Getting Started folder. The Getting Started folder is only used for the first week of class. There's a number of tasks there. The first task, task number one, is to complete project number one. We will be completing four projects this semester. This first project will be completed this week. Project two we will begin next week and you'll have um, about three weeks to complete that project and we'll talk about that later. For right now let's see if we can get project no number one completed. The first thing you want to do is go to Blackboard and open the Getting Started folder. So you want to make sure to open that folder and then read the directions for project number one. Uh, take a look at the sample for project number one. You'll notice there are a number of steps. And then in a Word file, complete one step at a time. Label each step, step one, step two, step three and then as you complete steps paste them into your project number one blog in Blackboard. Then you want to create a video if you're in one of the hybrid courses in order to present the outline. If you're not in a hybrid course then you'll present that outline in class. Then you want to upload that video to YouTube, copy the URL, and paste the URL for that video in your project number one blog. And I'd like to take you through those steps so I can show you how that works in Blackboard. So here is your Blackboard course for Speech 113. And the first step, of course, is to go to the Getting Started folder, which is right at the top. And as soon as it opens, you might want to read when the due dates are for the uh, getting started tasks uh, and project number one. You want to try to get everything in um, by the uh, end of the first week of class. And when you're ready, you need to open up the project number one getting started task number one folder. I'll open that now. You will see at the top a file called explanation of project number one and you can open that file. Let's take a look at it now. So here is the um, file explanation for project number one. You'll notice that it starts with a purpose of the project, when it's due, and how to submit it. And so those that's explained to you there. And then it's broken up into steps. First step is to choose a general area of interest. The second step is to find something specific in that general area that you're going to talk about and make a, uh, a brief statement, two or three sentence statement, on what your focus is going to be for your project number one presentation. You then go on to um, the third step, which is to create an outline, a two-point outline uh, for your presentation. And then you want to present your outline either in class or if you're in one of the hybrid sections with a video that you'll post to YouTube and then you will copy and paste the URL for that uh, posting that uh, YouTube video into your into your blog. So make sure to take a look at the explanation and you can also take a look at the sample. So here is a sample of project number one. Notice that every step is, is um, labeled. Step number one, step number two, which is the statement about what you're going to focus on. Step number three is the uh, outline. This is a three-tiered outline, but basically you want to make your outline look something like this in which you have, um, you have main points. There's the two main points and then you want to break it up into subpoints. Do the best you can with this. We'll be working on outlining for the rest of the semester. And then you're going to present your ideas. If you're in a regular class, you're going to present the idea in class. For the hybrid classes, you're going to be making a brief video 
and you're going to be posting that video to your blog. Um, if you um, need help with any of that, the posting of the videos or making of the videos, I have created this folder here, creating good-looking video presentations, and you could take a look at these various files on how to create a good-looking video presentation. Just take your time, read the directions, and then look at the video. And there's, uh, there's five of them here. If you don't know how to upload your uh, video presentation to YouTube, I have a video there to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're back here at the project number one and you now want to post that project into your blog. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your work, step number one, step number two, step number three, and you're going to copy it. I use a um, control C or you can right click and copy it. And then you're going to go to your blog space. Now this is where maybe some students are going to be a little confused, but here's where you're going to post your work for this semester. So each of the projects will get its own blog. So I'm going to open up the student blogs. And if you are in section 13, um, then you'll click on View. And you'll be able to add your uh, uh, blogs to this uh, folder if you're in the class. If you're not in the class, you can just view the other blogs. But if you're in the class, then you can add a new blog. Um, if you haven't started your project number one blog, then all you do is click up here at New Entry. You then want to give the blog a title. We'll call this Project Number One and we'll call this sample, but you can just call yours project number one. I'm going to click inside the um, open uh, work area and hit control V and there is the work that I just copied. Step one, notice it's labeled step one. Step two, it's labeled step three. Also notice that the outline is doesn't look in the right form because the indenting is gone. So I'm going to highlight the part that needs to be indented and indent it. And then I'll indent the sub sub points one more time. And I'll go to the second main point and indent those sub points. And now I've got my outline, I've got my steps. And the only thing that's missing is my video. So I'm going to go make my video right now. But first, I'm going to save my work. Okay, so here is what my blog looks like now. Uh, I'm missing step number four if I'm in the hybrid class because I need to add the URL of my video. So what I do now is I make a video. Um, if you have an iPad, you can use your iPad. If you um, have a computer with a camera, you can do that, but you need to find some way of creating your video. If you need to see me, and we can talk about how to do that if you don't have the right equipment, I'll give you ideas of how to do that, but you need to create a one-minute video using your outline that I've just highlighted and make that video in no more than two minutes. You have you have a minute to two minutes to uh, to make the video. Now you may you may need to practice it several times before it comes out right. If you want to see my video, you can go to the um, either to project number four and I mean projects number one, or you can go to getting started and you can find my video that I made using this uh, small outline. But once you made your video, you need to upload it onto YouTube. Now let's take a look at what YouTube looks like. So here's YouTube. Notice I have my own account. You can create your own account. And I'm going to open up my account and go to Video Manager. And so here are some of my uh, students' videos. And if I want to upload uh, something that I've done, I can click on the video. It's going to open. And I all I need to do is find the URL. I could take the one from up here. I can 
control C I can copy it or right click and copy it and then I want to go back to Blackboard I want to open up student blogs I want to go back to my blog remember I, I started one in section 13 and now in order to add the URL to this blog is I'm going to click edit and then go to the bottom I'm going to type in step number four and I'm going to paste in the URL all I have to do now is um, let me see if I can move this over here yeah it looks a little better all I have to do now is save it and once it's saved I've completed my project number one okay so that's that's what you need to get done by Saturday and then I'm going to add my notes up at the top of your project and let you know how well I think you did now I'd like you to also take a look at what other students in your group are doing take a look at their project and in the comments area you can add your comments I really liked your video I thought you did a great job of taping it clearly and speaking so that I understood your ideas so maybe you want to write that and then you can add the comment and then the comment will be seen down here so that you should be talking to each other if you have any other questions about um, creating a uh, completing project number one please feel free to uh, contact me with my by my email a w i n s o n at j j a y dot c o n y dot e d u okay um, and i hope that helps you